Hi, I'm Anthony Rummer, and welcome back to CG for Me. I'm just going through and changing the influences by painting using my paint weights tool. And I'm going to test, go back to object mode and select this control. And I like the way that's deforming. I think I could soften up just a little bit more in this area. So to do that, I'm going to, instead of going to manipulate these on the vert level, I'm just going to go in object mode, double click my paint weights tool, and add just a little bit of influence here to the knee. And I'm going to put my value up to, let's say, 0.1 is the maximum I'm going to go. And I'm just going to say add going to barely add influence just to soften it up. I always work in additive mode. I never subtract because if you subtract, my then just reassigns the vertex weights. And sometimes it doesn't know it's a, it doesn't know what the object is, so it just does its best guess in reassigning. So, there's a little bit softer. I'm going to select the control again, rotate it, and I like the way it looks better. So, next I'll work on the knee control. And I can decide how hard or soft they should be. And maybe I want it to soften it up just a little bit here. So, I will go to my paint weights tool and I will add just a little bit of influence to the hip and between the paint weights tool and the component editor is how you're going to work and on influence these, influencing these on the vert level. So I'm just barely softening this up. And I'll test it by rotating my control. And it's going to be between you and an animator and an art director how you like it. So I think this implodes a little too much here. So I'm going to go to my paint weights tool and see if I can't add some more influence to the hip it doesn't seem to be doing much for me so I'm going to go to uh, vertex mode and just take a look at that ring with my component editors so window general editors component editor And sure enough, there's some more influences on the knee. Maybe I want to tone it back, so I'm going to say 0.9. And maybe here I want it to be a much greater percentage, so I'll just say value of 1. Maybe this could be 0.95. And just between the two, you're going to go around between the two tools and manipulate your model until the whole thing starts to look natural. You're going to want to fix this kind of thing, this influence. Um, I'll work just a little bit more on it in another video.